Motion up. Well, everybody in this, stand, in this crowd has got emotion up. Irvin Small in the Allen Gordon. See, every pass is over the top. If they fake up top and bounce pass it low, a guy will have a wide open shot. And low Nick Anderson can't find the handle, and he's got an offensive foul. My boy is so pumped. He's juiced. Look at him. That's David Weatherall, and he's played most of this game instead of Kevin Williams, the big 6'8 transfer from New York. He's got to make several big plays in this game. Look at him, just bouncing and jumping. He was at, in perfect position for Nick Anderson to inflict the foul. And here comes Mark on Liberty. There he is. Weatherall. Oh, good. No basket. No basket. He's called for the wall. Look yeah. at him. <laughs> He's so excited. I don't blame him. Well, let's see if we can pick it up, Herb. There he is. He's going in, and uh, really, it's... Let's say it's questionable. It's a tough call. Tough call. It's a tough call, Jim. And another key, key omission as far as King is concerned. Wow, is there a foul? The down court. Urban Small rejected by Marcus Liberty. And now Liberty they got a 4-3 the now. I think 24 has really rubbed off on the guys. He's really, really excited, and he's getting everybody else excited. And that's brought everybody else's energy level back up again. Isaiah, you recognize your contribution, whether it's on the pro level or the high school level, <laughs> don't you? That's one of your main contributions, in addition to your play. King, it seems to just itching to blow this one open. They've had a couple of great opportunities. This free throw from Robinson makes it a four-point lead, but we still have 4.31 left to play. And that's an eternity in basketball. This one's good, too, and it's 38-33. Hamburg going with experience now. He has Eric David, a senior, in for Mark Bradley, a junior. And that's probably why Landon Cox is sticking with Weatherall. Not only is he inspiring the team, but he has got experience. This is Simeon trying to figure out what to do about this five-point deficit. If they dribble right to the heart of the zone, pump up and bounce past the low, I guarantee your guy have a shot. They've had trouble finding many openings in that up, defense. Down, down good. Good. The small, good. Okay. Urban Small with a basket, and he's been the story for Simeon in this second half. Playing beautifully despite that cutover eye. Here comes King in a hurry. Reggie King holds it back. Liberty in the corner. Liberty one-on-one -on -one to Lavertis Robinson. I think it was an excellent move to bring Simeon out of the zone by King's post to the Reggie King all the way. All the way, all by himself, unmolested. for the defensive laps, and Simeon now down by five again, 40 to 35 with 320 left. King, uh, Reggie King has taken advantage of a number of mistakes that they've made, both offensive and defensive. Allen Gordon, Irvin Small for the basket. See, with King's quickness and good athletic ability, by them having to face guys one-on-one, -on -one, that's what they do every day in the playground. It's a three-point game, and Simeon man-to-man -man all over the floor. The way Reggie King handles the ball, he can go by me. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> ball is out there. Just as you said that, he threw the ball to the King bench. And he can't believe he did that. 40 to 37. That's okay. You can still handle it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the coach tells you I did. We'll just go get it back. That's all. That's all. All right. Simeon with a chance to cut the lead to one. There it is. Alan Gordon couldn't get the shot off. Tough defense by King. Deion Butler feeds it off. We've got a call inside, and it's on Reggie King. Anderson's got to get more aggressive offensively. He, he's too passive right now, uh, and he's the guy who's got to make the plays for him. And right now, he's not getting the ball in places where he likes to get it. Isaiah is clairvoyant, Herb. I was just going to say, Anderson looks like he's sleepwalking a bit today. Right, he, I, I, I don't understand it. I agree. He's made several mistakes with the ball. Uh, he had his last shot dropped. 
But I, I think it's mainly because of the passes, he, the way he's catching the ball. Everything is a lob pass over the top, and by the time he gets the ball, the defense has reacted. Whether if it was a, a sharp pass, bounce pass, or chest pass, uh, he would get the ball in time enough to make a move. Butler misses free throw, and King controls the Vernus Robinson. Brings it out quickly. Down to Liberty. Four on one. Oh, Liberty didn't pass it. He just took it in and missed. And Irvin's ball. Oh, my goodness. I'm trying to figure out what they call here. They call it a traveling call. They call it but, small. But prior to that, they had four on one again. Marcus Liberty definitely had the pass. And elected to take it in himself and then missed the... Missed the a real easy shot, actually. Oh, in addition, uh, he, he he had the ball on the left side of the basket, and he crossed over the basket and took two extra steps. Additional, it made the shot more difficult because it took more time. I say we've had at least five instances now, beginning with the, the beginning of the game, where King had easy baskets that they could have converted and didn't, and that's why we have a 40 to 38 score now. Simeon definitely not out of it, obviously down by two. And I guess those are the kind of things that you figure would make King maybe crash. But so far, Herb, they're hanging tough. And I expect that if we're going to have a nail bite. We have yeah. a nail bite, and, oh, and they're going to get shorter and shorter as we get down to those three zeros on the scoreboard. Well, I think King's missing a lot of opportunities on the fast break simply because guys are running the lane so close to the basketball, and it enables one guy to literally guard four people. Whereas if the guys running the lane would spread out, uh, it would be much easier for them to make the pass and get a layup. I, I think also, Isaiah, we found that if the guy on the wing would put the ball to the man in the middle of the floor, Definitely. that might also help. Definitely. Irvin Small spent the whole time out with that compress over his eye. He's apparently still not bleeding and it's bothering him a great deal, but he's playing a very courageous game. Incidentally, no matter what happens to Simeon in this game, they've already got one championship wrapped up. Their sophomore team beat Robeson earlier today, 54-34. Simeon sophomores undefeated, I believe, this year, right, Herb Brown? Yeah, they, uh, they can't lose any. They haven't lost any <laughs> at this point. There you see them. Uh, and they absolutely uh, shined in that performance against Robeson. Now we're back live. Too bad we don't have four. There he yet. is. We sent them downstate. He snuck in. They didn't see him. They're trying to make all the passes over the top instead of bounce passes or chest passes. And when you're trying to make only one kind of pass, it really limits you in what you can do. Landon Cox extremely disturbed by that turn of events because now Simeon's got a chance to tie it up. In low, and early small, can't get the handle. And I think he's got, I think, yeah, he's got the foul. He was over top. Tough break for Irvin Small. I'm sure the bandage over his eye didn't help at all catching that pass. Well, when he bobbled it, Reggie King has been all over the floor all day. And when he made a little bobble, Reggie King was right there to pick it up. Well, we're going to be called upon to select our Amico players in the game pretty soon. And what a tough assignment that's going to be. But Reggie King certainly figures right in there. It's a bit tough because everybody on King's basketball team has really played a good basketball game. King on the spot now and on the line. His first free throw rolls and in. And King's up by three now with 1.52 to go. The pressure is really on Simeon. Simeon's got to get Anderson the ball, get him a nice, easy shot. The guard's got to penetrate, pump up, and give him a nice pass where he can do, do something with the basketball. Second free throw also good. Now it's a four-point game. King up by four, 42-38. John Butler. Alan Gordon. They're working the left side this half. There he is. Anderson. Quick baseline move draws the foul from David Weatherall. See, when he gets a sharp, quick pass, he's able to do so many things with the basketball. He looks like such a good athlete. can go left or right, jump, shoot, whatever. But when you lob it, you got five guys literally playing you. The operating area has literally become three inches. Well, he's a big free throw from Nick Anderson. At least a big one, and he makes it. Now he gets the chance to shoot the other one. 42-39. Big possession for King coming up here. 
I look for the little guy to try to get in and penetrate and dish off if they're in a man-to-man. -man. Nick Anderson's 14th point of the game, and it's now 42-40. Certainly the winner of this game, Herb, the favorite to win the state title, but that's something that nobody's even thinking about until this one's over. And it's one minute and 38 seconds from being over. Nick Anderson nearly got the steal. But King King gets the ball. The man-to-man -man pressure is, is, is giving, causing King some trouble now. They're going to have to move. It's Robertson Robinson. Fishing off to Reggie King. He's good with that ball. Oh, he is. Any he trade? Trade? Butler, this? trade? This is the Robinson? Good. Yes. 44 to 40 now. King by four. And a timeout. No, oh, no. It's double dribble. Wow, what a critical turnover. I thought I thought he had called timeout the way the official motion. He took did. a hesitation there, Tim. And uh, wow. we had, we, as you indicated, we had some outstanding officiating and moving North was right on it. Oh, that's a tough break for Simeon. They're really up against the wall now. 44 to 40 with a minute 12 to play. He's handling the game. There he goes again. Oh, look at him. Look at him. I say it. You, you must have inspired him. He's playing terrific basketball. Marcus Liberty with Nick Anderson on it. And a steal Good by Alan Gordon. Good steal. Big steal. Alan Gordon. Take your time. Good shot. Good oh, shot. Man. Good shot. Gordon with the basket. And now it's a two-point game. Great no call. That was great no call by the official. They have to keep the ball out of Liberty's hands. In a lot of gyms, that's a charging foul, but they didn't give it to him, and that's the way Isaiah liked it. But this is a foul. A reach in on Urban Small. Now let's take a look at what you're talking about here. Okay, Emmett Lynch gets in there. Because nobody, neither one of the players really had position. If anything, he might have been able to get the three-point play yeah. because it didn't look like Lynch had set himself. That's a great no call by the official. Uh, at this time of the game, I think it, uh, with Liberty shooting free throws, though he's a good free throw shooter, for controlling the ball, Isaiah, as you well know, uh, you need to have the ball in the, uh, in the small people's hands who, who can do that best. Definitely. All right, Bob Hamburg's called a timeout here just as Marcus Liberty was to step to the line. There's no question he wants him to think about these. 44, 42, and 40 seconds to go. All fours, almost. And there's the King Huddle. I think he called the timeout to try to freeze Liberty. He didn't want him to, sure he he wants him to miss one of these free throws. Well, he'll be shooting uh, the one and one, so if he misses the first one. That's the one I think he wants him to miss most, Tim. Yes, you bet you're right, yeah, absolutely. Because <laughs> he, he won't get a chance to miss two of them. But if he misses it, they got to get the rebound. Um, you know, with, with the way the lane's set up here in high school, it's a lot closer to the basket. Exactly. And if it bounces long, uh, King could possibly come up with the rebound. Oh, boy. It's all come down to this. These two teams wanted to play each other so badly all year long. I don't know if King really wanted a piece of Simeon. Now they got it. And they're 40 seconds away from... I guess you'd have to say it's an upset, Herb, because Simeon had the tradition and the undefeated record. But it's hard to imagine King beating anybody and calling it an upset because they are so talented. Oh, damn, but so. And uh, I'd rather, we could speculate it, it, on the end of the game, but uh, the back, uh, at this point, I would be reluctant to call the winner because it appears yeah. to me that Simeon is a little fresher. Uh, they had a chance to blow it open a minute ago, and Liberty was handling the ball, and as we indicated, we think it's best for the little people to have it. Uh, with Anderson on the team, I would not count him out. He's going to do something to help his team win. First three throws hey, good. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's the big one. It's a three-point game now. Now, what they got to do is make sure they get it up quick and get a good shot and not a turnover here. And he makes them both. King up by four points. If they miss, I bet you Anderson will do something. Oh, my oh. God. That seems like a lifetime to the King players at this point. Oh, yeah. Let's see, let's see the man-to-man -man pressure and see how King responds to the inbound play. They can make up four points in 36 seconds, but it won't be out. Oh, good like steal. Oh, not quite. Beautiful move by Robertus Robinson. And now here's King on the attack. Liberty's going to keep Oh, my goodness. Uh -oh. Offensive foul. I, I don't I know why he did that. Pull it out. No. Nope. Wow. Exactly. Bring it back out. Don't make that happen. But he did. He's a great player, but when you get that aggressive, sometimes you get carried away, and now 
Simeon's got a chance. So well, he's a junior. He's got another year left. That's why he feels that it didn't matter at that time. But I guarantee you the seniors sitting on the bench are mad. <laughs> Good. The foul bounced off his foot, but what a great player. I think Anderson might get a tip in here if they shoot it. Urban Smalley's on the line. Yeah, he bounced the ball on the end line. And once again, another turnover. Let's see how they set up against the man-to-man -man again. 21 seconds. I think they've learned how to get it in, Tim. Let's hope. Let's see what happens. They gotta handle the ball. All right, the officials are gonna confer here for a moment. They'll take it out on the side. Simeon was so close to getting that steal and having to be a two-point basketball game. Herb, is that any different being on the side as well? Oh, obviously it's an advantage. It's a very definite advantage for King. Yeah. Oh, Deion Butler just put Reggie King across the face. He's the wrong guy to let get it. Uh, if there's any voting to be done, before we get to that point, Reggie King has to be on my Amico uh, All-Star. That's my he man just, for today. He has to be on it. I guess we just made it out of unanimous. Because he set the tempo defensively and offensively for him. He set up the big guys with so many easy shots with his sharp passing and uh, defensively he's been hiring. Well, Aaron Cox is going to leave him alone right now and pull all his other players off the, off the free throw area. And he does get his first dunk down at 47-42. And now Herb with 17 seconds to go. It's, it's going to take a miracle. Oh, yes. Yeah. Drag it right to the south side. He missed that one. Here comes Simeon. They got five points to make, and they get a timeout. Fifteen seconds left in the game, and five points to make up. As long as we're talking about most valuable players, I don't think you want to agree with me that Urban Smallow or Simeon is going to have to get the ball there. He played with pain. He was a big, big, big factor in the second half. When he was in the game, Tim, uh, it was a different game. They had an inside right. game. He rebounded against the taller fellas. Uh, and some would say the more talented fellas are king, but he certainly made his presence felt in all aspects of the game. So Definitely. those are our Amico players of the game for King, Reginald King, aptly named, and for Simeon, Urban Small. And I think there are those that argue, Herb, that if Urban had not been hurt, Maybe we've got a different situation. I don't know. He, he, it had to affect him. It had to hamper him. King's been really, really, really on top of their game this afternoon. Everybody was really emotional and, and high pitch, and they were able to sustain that throughout the whole period of the basketball game. And when the when the point came that they did lose that, 24 came in off the bench. I don't well, well, David Weatherall did a great right. job. He came in off the bench and gave him that lift again, and they've been able to sustain that throughout the, the period of the basketball game. Isaiah, you may not have been aware, but uh, David Weatherall was starting for King uh, up until mid-season. Then they got a transfer in, and uh, he sat down, but some would say uh, they probably would have achieved as much success as they have had he been there all the time. Well, they proved Definitely. that by having him in here most of the second half. All right, here's Simeon in a hurry. Alan Gordon throws it up from the side. Long, no good. Nick Anderson with the rebound. He's, he's working. Short gets the rebound, gets the basket. But now with four seconds to go, another Simeon timeout. It's a three-point game. They took too long getting it down. He hustles. He, I like him as a player. I really like Anderson as a basketball player. He can play on my team any day. <laughs> any day. We've got uh, any number of college coaches here, Isaiah, and I'm sure they are all hoping that he would choose them, too. The 1986 Public League Basketball Championship game has been brought to you in part by Amico, the premium lead free for city driving. Chevy, live it. And by McDonald's and the Northwest Indiana Chicagoland McDonald's owners. Well, we're four, we're four seconds away from wrapping this up for Brown and Isaiah Thomas, and uh, I don't think we need to be modern, but we, we can say that it's lived up to everything we hoped it would. It's a great game, and uh, one team is not going to deserve to lose, and one team is definitely going to deserve to win. And it's a shame that the season is over for either one of these clubs. Maybe one day we'll come up with a way of uh, just saying, okay, it's a tie, we'll just give <laughs> right there. That never happens in basketball, I think. Well, right away, Simeon's got the foul, and they didn't take any time off the clock. So Nick Anderson clipped Marcus Liberty. And we'll see if he misses this free throw. Simeon might be able to crank it down the court, but I, it's, uh, I don't it's, uh, know. It's about 75 feet down there in four seconds. And uh, then they still uh, have about three, they'll probably have two seconds, maybe, even at that point. And uh, it's a long road to hold, but I don't see any quitting in it.
Sidney on today. Yeah, I know the coach. But I know Landon Cox has said, if you do anything or you do not do anything, <laughs> please do not foul anybody. Because that's the only thing that gets Simeon back in the game is a careless foul. Right. Or, or to have something happen where there's no time taken off the clock. Has King ever been downstate no. in the history of the school? No. This will be the first trip. No. You're exactly right. And I, I, I can remember when I was at St. Joe's and the first time our school ever went downstate. And the way that school and that community rallied around us as basketball players, teams are going to have a tough time beating them if this is going to be their first time down there. With the support that they're going to have and the good feeling that they're going to have, uh, beating a team such as Simeon, uh, they're going to be tough to beat. Well, they're going because they're up now by five points. There's Urban Small with the slam, but it's a man. Even the guy you were fighting every day at school is going to come up and say, congratulations. <laughs> well, this is a vindication for Landon Cox because he's waited a long time for this. His first city championship, the first trip downstate for King High School. And there they are, savoring it all. Bob Hambrick, classy in defeat. They'll remember this for the rest of their life. This feeling that they have right now will carry on with them for the rest of their life. A magic moment for the King High School team, the fans, the cheerleaders, the parents, as you said, I say, the whole community. Now, Urban Small trying to keep his Simeon teammates up, and they uh, they deserve a lot of credit, as do all these guys on the All-Star team, Nick Anderson, Deion Butler, Lavertus Robinson, Marcus Liberty, Robert Tan, and Donnell Thomas, all fine basketball players, part of the, the best basketball program, some say, in the entire country. There he is, Landon Cox. Oh, more. <laughs> and while Landon Cox is savoring his moment as the champions of the public league, we also want to salute the cheerleading champions from Morgan Park, the Dallas cheerleader competition winner. They did a great job, and so did those King Jaguar players right there. A fabulous basketball game we're proud. Oh, very, very, very. And, and the cheerleaders, the whole army, just the whole atmosphere of the game. Feel the emotions and everything that these kids are having, and I can also understand the feeling that the Simeon kids are going through because I lost in my senior year to a deal of South team. So uh, I guess that's what they call the, the agony and the victory, you know. <laughs> well, nothing but exultation for King and for Isaiah Thomas and Herb Brown. This is Tim Weigel saying thanks for being with us, everybody, and happy basketball.